Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, Bringing Down the Government, L'Shem Shamayim for the Sake of Heaven. So we had a very sad event of the last few weeks. We thought that after elections, government was just about set. Bibi's going to set up his government. We had the religious parties and a few others, and he's going to have his 60 plus seats, and we're going to move on. And Bibi's the king of Israel, longest serving prime minister, combining all his terms together and moving on. And for many of us, that's great news, considering him a world statesman, bringing Israel to a different level in the world, and that's it. And those who didn't like it, that's, that's democracy. And something strange happened. He cannot put together the government. They spoke to different parties with Lieberman, and got by the head of labor, different ones, and, and each one said, no, nope, not working for me. Knowing that's going to bring down the government. And we're going to end up with another election. It slows down the whole country. Everyone's focusing on the elections again instead of building up the country. Talking about expense, the election day expense is a billion shekel, give or take. Think of all the thousands of employees that are just hired for those few days. The advertisements that uh, this money is spent there, which does produce some business, of course. The advertisement the companies are thrilled with all this. The newspapers are thrilled with this. So there's some money made there. But of course, the economy in the billions from that specific day of elections and all the leading up time and the slowdown in the economy. So what's going on when a person goes ahead? One person, head of labor, he could have joined, and that would have been it. Lieberman, he could have joined, and that would have been it. And he compromised a little bit. So you don't get the draft law the way you want it. And you move over from labor to join the Likud. Compromise a little bit. So to me, this is a fascinating question. Fascinating question. When a person goes ahead and says, I'm going to do something, or I'll abstain from doing something. And yes, I know the whole government, the country's going to be in shambles from this for a few months now. But this is my principle. I'm doing it l'shem shemam. What do we say about that? The answer is, in my opinion, nothing. Only Hashem knows the answer. If a person really, really, really has principles, then he maintains that this is how this law should be. Well, he maintains, I promised for months I would never work together in the, in the government with BB. And I feel terrible now the whole government's going to go under because I'm not joining. But that was my principle. I always said it. I'm not changing. So only Hashem really can judge. When a person says, I have to make this move. I have to be passive. And I'm really sorry about, sorry about the ramifications. But it's the shame Shamayim. We can't go ahead and know. Sometimes you might see the person like, right, that's so inconsistent with your opinions and policy. It sounds a bit funny. Okay, maybe. But if let's say this person's been holding by this principle all the time, and now he's continuing with it, even though the ramifications are huge. Doesn't mean it's not L'Shem Shemaim. Ah, oh, these are politicians and anything they do is not L'Shem Shemaim. I don't hold by that. I'm not so sure. It's case by case. And to me, this message is not only how do we look at our dear and beloved politicians as they brought, bring down the government and force us to go through this lovely process again. It's really about each other as well. Our friends, colleagues, and others will do things in a business deal, in a marriage, neighbors. And you say, why not just give in? No, it's the principle of the matter. When you hear that line, I, two words come to my mind. Maybe it really is a principle and you really can't give in. Maybe you really could work a little bit more for a compromise. But I think it, it's the Yetzirah in us that immediately declares, oh, yeah, the shame Shemayim. That's a big joke. It's the Yetzirah. The mind must investigate it and look in and see. It's to the best of our abilities. And then, and only then, 
make a decision or abstain and say only he knows. And for now, I'll respect the person and try to help them with the situation they're in. Shalom.